professionally, I'm known as a scholar or academic. But then, of course, due to my Chinese writing, I'm known as a uh, cultural worker, or in a more elevated sense, I would call it man of letters, letters referring to broad cultural interests. Leo Li can now claim another identity after he was named Author of the Year for the 2015 Hong Kong Book Fair. That's where readers will get a chance to learn more about his broad cultural interests, ranging from architecture and classical music to films, and all found on the pages of his academic books, novels, and commentaries. Different readers from different regions uh, read different books of mine, but I'm very flattered by the simple fact that my books are still being read. Best known to English language readers would be Li's book, Shanghai Modern. The volume explored Shanghai's golden age in the 1930s through the eyes of writers who would go on to create the foundations of modern Chinese culture. I wanted to go against the grain. Most of my fellow scholars were writing about Chinese villages, Chinese revolution, Chinese economy, Chinese political institutions. I was trained in history but I was always interested in literature. In America, in Western literature, of course, modernism was already a canon. So I thought, well, uh, I may as well pursue this Chinese canon to some extent, which was being neglected. The book was translated into Chinese in 2000, when the author was still teaching in the United States. His fame spread as world attention turned toward dramatic changes underway in China. My good fortune was that in the early 21st century, Shanghai became a big city. Everybody wants to go to Shanghai, therefore my book became a must-read. Drawn to Hong Kong's unique international culture, Li and his wife moved to the city in 2004. He said he was eager to bring Western readers closer to Hong Kong through his writing. One of the best examples being his 2008 book, City Between Worlds. I refuse to dichotomize. That is to say, an insider has to write only about grassroots, to fill my prose with all kinds of local idioms, right? To make Western readers unable to understand. But rather, I would like to start my book from an insider's point of view, to invite outsiders to come into the heart of Hong Kong culture. Recently, Lee has shifted from academic works to writing more about leisure interests, which he didn't expect to be a hit with readers. I think my writings on music and film are absolutely amateurish. And why are they still being read by my readers? There must be something to do with the amateurish quality. Most scholars say that we live in an age of visual culture. That is to say, you know, our life is full of movies, uh, visual stimuli, so that the reading habits have shrunk. And people no longer read that much or try to do any writing. But I said many times, I think the two are in a way interactive. The more you get into visual stimuli, the more you, at least I feel that, there's some written language behind that. 